What is up my fellow beasts, welcome back to a new video today I'm gonna start off this video like a nerd by asking you for a cheeky like If you can, if you're watching this video right now, please smack the like button Because uh, this is one of the best videos I've ever made, ladies and gentlemen, at least in my opinion And uh, it took me a while to put this thing together, so a cheeky like would be very much appreciated Also because the more likes this thing gets, the more exposure it will get And the more people will be able to see how beasts play Call of Duty. So everyone has a favorite weapon in the Call of Duty games, you know, that weapon you use all the time, that weapon you absolutely love. Some players love using the ACR, some players love using the grenade launcher, and some players love using the IED. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the IED is some player's weapon with the most kills. I don't know how it is possible, but it is possible. My favorite is actually a combination of two weapons. I cannot use one without the other one, which is a shield and a throwing knife or any throwing knife variant and it is about this little inseparable duo ladies and gentlemen I want to talk about today and I want to show you how they have evolved together in the Call of Duty games so without further ado ladies and gentlemen the first shield that appeared in a Call of Duty game was in Modern Warfare 2 the riot shield so this riot shield is you know pretty much I would say 80% transparent then in the middle there is a black stripe uh, it's Pretty simple, but I absolutely love it. With the Riot Shield in MLB2, when you hit someone in the face, it stuns them for like half a second, which is definitely very helpful for when you're trying to get those melee kills. When crouching, it provides you great cover. I believe that this is the shield that allows you to really stay uh, safe when people are shooting at you. In other Call of Duties, it feels that you get shot through the shield, or it feels that your, your, your ass is sticking out, and you get killed, and you're like, what? how did that happen i thought i was 100 percent behind cover in mw2 that doesn't really happen this shield has a very cool ability that no other shield has which is that it makes you immune to stun grenades so if a stun grenade explodes in front of your shield you will be protected you will not be stunned and when you are using stun grenades uh you will not stun yourself so this is definitely uh, very very helpful for when you are trying to get those riot shield kills the range on this riot shield is very 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 good especially when you use the commando perk it definitely it makes the shields super super fun to use uh, in MW2 the shield is also very good against small explosives like claymores frag grenades RPGs and even against the predator missile yes you can survive a predator missile however uh, you will only survive it if it hits you on your riot shield and there's something else something pretty small I want to mention which is the riot shield emblem on the kill feed it looks Looks pretty awesome uh, and then there's the throwing knife ladies and gentlemen just like the riot shield the throwing knife appeared for the first time in a Call of Duty game in Modern Warfare 2 and this thing is a little monster that is perfect for using together with the shield like a beast and it just feels great to use I don't know what it is but this knife feels perfect unlike other knives that not uh, that are not as good in my opinion then ladies and gentlemen the shield returned again in a modern warfare 3 and this is pretty much the same shield from mw2 with a few upgrades and also a few downgrades everything else is pretty much the same you still stun people for half a second when you hit them uh, you can still survive explosives uh, such as the rpg the frag the claymores whatever and the riot shield emblem is still the same from mw2 the upgrade that this shield received is that it came with two proficiencies which are like two attachments you cannot use both of them together unfortunately but you have the melee proficiency which allows you to melee people faster and you have the speed proficiency which allows you to run for a much longer distance without stopping which is definitely very helpful because you know that when you use the riot shield you are slow like a goddamn turtle and the downgrade is that uh, it it's not immune to stun grenades anymore uh, which is definitely a shame and the range was reduced because there is no commando perk in modern warfare 3 but the default range in mw3 is still pretty good and still one of the best in the call of duty games but if you don't want to use the riot shield weapon you can use a kill streak that has the riot shield which is the support juggernaut this is a walking tank this is a beast so if you're not good with the riot shield if you die a lot and if you can get any kills use a normal gun try getting the support juggernaut they 
has a riot shield, it has a lot of health, and maybe this way you'll be able to get some cheeky riot shield kills. And then we have the throwing knife that is also the same from Modern Warfare 2, and it still has the uh, cool emblem that I absolutely love. Then when we were expecting to get a shield only next year, with a new Infinity Ward Call of Duty game, Treyarch decided to give us the Assault Shield in Black Ops 2. I was very surprised with this decision because in Black Ops 1 there was no shield, so I thought that Treyarch uh, was not going to have shields on their uh, Call of Duty games. So when this happened, I was super excited. Unfortunately, this shield turned out to be a goddamn joke. It is the worst shield in the Call of Duty game. But the shield came with a few upgrades and also a lot of downgrades. So the upgrade is that it looks pretty badass. I definitely love the way uh, the assault shield looks like. Uh, it has a built-in fast melee, which allows you to melee people super, super fast. For the first time, you could put a camo on your shield and you could also put your ammo emblem and your clan tag and you could also plant it on the ground for the first time uh, you could use this for cover when you were capturing flags in domination or whatever or you can plant it on the ground as a trap for killing delicious little jimmies the downgrades is that it doesn't block bullets half of the time and that's what the shield is supposed to do but it's just it's like it's made of paper in black ops 2 it doesn't block any explosives a claymore explodes in front of your shield you will die unlike with the one from mw2 and mw3 which allows you to survive the claymore the shield in black ops 2 doesn't block uh, the riot shield attacks i don't know why but if you have the shield in front of you and if another player hits you with his shield you will get you'll get damaged through your shield it doesn't make any sense but you know it is what it is the range is unexistent to get melee kills with a shield in black ops 2 you have to be on the enemy's lap pretty much so it is a joke and finally it doesn't stun people when you hit them in the face and then we have ladies and gentlemen the combat x which is the throwing knife variant in black ops 2 it's not as good as the throwing knife but it's not that bad it is usable and as expected ladies and gentlemen the shield returned on the next year after black ops 2 in call of duty ghost and this bad boy came with a lot of upgrades and ladies and gentlemen after that travesty in black ops 2 known as the assault shield we needed a lot of upgrades we needed the great shield in call of duty ghost it is reinforced with a lot of steel which makes it look super hardcore super badass because of all that steel it is explosive proof it is the best shield against explosives you can survive missiles of the attack helicopter you can survive one shot of the IMS you can survive pretty much all the other explosives uh, it came with three attachments the radar which is like a pocket UAV this is what I use most of the time the titanium frame for faster melee and finally the scrambler that uh, is garbage but uh, you know it can be fun to use so this thing will jam people's radars when you get close to them you can also use the uh, trigger button for meleeing people with the riot shield this is something that also happened for the first time you could melee people in the playstation 3 and playstation 4 on the r1 button this is something that in the other call of duties obviously didn't happen to melee people you'd have to use the thumbstick or the circle button and also for the first time you could fix the cracks on your riot shield by doing a little trick which was to finding a weapon on the ground and replacing your shield by that weapon and then you pick up your shield again boom all the cracks will be gone by doing this little trick and finally there's something else something very simple i want to mention but your character holds the shield for the first time with his left hand it's not a big deal but it was kind of cool and still related to the riot shield if you don't want to use the riot shield as a weapon if you suck at using it you can use the riot shield on the support juggernaut which is kind of like the same from mw3 it gives you a lot of health and you have a big ass riot shield there's also the support squad mate which also has a riot shield and this is a little beast that plays the objective and uh, kills little jimmies and finally you also have another kill streak with a riot shield which is the ai support juggernaut it's pretty much a squad mate on steroids but all those steroids made it dumb as shit so it doesn't get you as many kills as the squad mate but it is pretty
pretty fun to use, especially if you are using all these three kill streaks with riot shields at the same time. And then we have the throwing knife, ladies and gentlemen, which returned as the same from MW2 and MW3, only with a little difference, which is the emblem on the kill feed. It's not the same, but it doesn't look that bad. And still related to the throwing knife, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time we got a kill streak that has a throwing knife which is the uh, juggernaut maniac so with all the love the shield and the throwing knife received in Call of Duty Ghosts how could I not love this game then uh, ladies and gentlemen the right shield was not done yet in the Call of Duty games it returned once again in advanced warfare as the heavy shield no one was expecting this game to have a shield because we all thought that it was just an infinity war thing and also a Treyarch thing after black ops 2 so the cool stuff about the heavy shield is that it looks pretty awesome it's a different shield uh, it looks pretty badass it has three attachments which is the plant attachment which allows you to plant it on the ground there's the shock plant which is the same thing but if an enemy is nearby he will get shocked he will get stunned and then there is the fast melee attachment which allows you to melee people super super fast this shield is also great for killing the goliath the goliath is a massive beast in call of duty advanced warfare and with the shield you will destroy goliaths from left to right but to be fair the goliath is a piece of shit in advanced warfare and finally this is the only shield in the call of duty games that heals the bullet cracks after you get shot one second later uh, all the bullet cracks are gone and this is absolutely biblical the only bad thing about the shield is that it's just it's in the wrong call of duty game this is a great shield with great features unfortunately all the bunny hopping makes it very very hard to use successfully so if you want to get shield kills forget about it people are just flying over the place it's super hard but wait ladies and gentlemen there is another shield in advanced warfare yes this game has two shields besides the heavy shield there is also the exo shield this is you know a little shield that only lasts four seconds five if you use the perk overcharge but it is pretty cool i love it because you can use it quickly whenever you want let's say you're running around with your gun an enemy appears out of nowhere he starts shooting at you boom you use this thing you will be completely covered and you can also use it together with the heavy shield you can have both shields in front of you and this will provide you extra cover and also if you're taking let's say a flag in domination uh, you will provide your teammates a better cover this is pretty cool it kind of looks intimidating when people see two shields in front of you and then we have the spike drone as the throwing knife and in my opinion you know it's not as good as the throwing knife uh, from MW2 or MW3 or Call of Duty Ghosts, but the spike drone is definitely what you want to use the most when you use a riot shield. Because forget about getting riot shield kills, uh, it's all about using that delicious spike drone. Uh, I was able to go on a cheeky 5 kill streak yesterday and I was super super happy. The good things about the spike drone is that you can call it back at you, so you have to look around for it after you throw it, which is pretty cool. And when you call the uh, spike drone back, if there is someone on the way you can kill that player which is definitely freaking hilarious my only complaints about the spike drone is that most of the time it gets stuck when you call it back it just doesn't return and it's also super slow when compared to the throwing knife and it definitely makes it very hard to use then in black ops 3 the shield returned again as the assault shield from black ops 2 but you could not use it you could only look at it yes ladies and gentlemen in black ops 3 multiplayer you can only look at the riot shield you cannot use it because it is only available on certain maps uh, as a prop as part of the environment which is a joke because I mean if the shield is in zombies if the shield is in the single player and if it is on the multiplayer as part of the freaking environment why can't we freaking use it and finally ladies and gentlemen the last shield to appear in a Call of Duty franchise until this point maybe more shields will appear in future Call of Duty games is the bolt charge from Infinite Warfare this is not a normal weapon this is a payload of the character Merc. It's something that you have to earn, but at least it is better than no shield. I love the bolt charge. It looks super badass. It allows you to move super fast like a 
a bullet train, it is a one hit kill and uh, even if you miss the player you're trying to kill, if he is close to a wall or something, when you hit that wall uh, the shockwave will hit that player and you will kill him but it has to be very very close to where you are hitting and finally you can jump over obstacles with the bolt charge which is definitely great and in the beginning i didn't know about this so i wasted a lot of bolt charges and then we have the throwing knife which returned as the spike drone in call of duty infinite warfare which is a little drone that explodes on impact and it is definitely pretty cool because you make nerds disappear when you hit them in the face with this little beast unfortunately you cannot use it together with the bolt charge so there you go ladies and gentlemen this is the shield and throwing knife evolution in the call of duty games let me know your opinion in the comment section below about these beasts let me know which one is your favorite if you use the shields or the throwing knife and uh, yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time peace out